Now we go! Ugh. Go. Pia! While researchers gave two new theories on a possible liquid ocean on Pluto, you might have missed the intellect to aspire to, how the manliest job will be co-opted by bots, and Japan, my vote for infrastructure president. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where you might have seen the huge sinkhole that opened in a city in Japan and threatened the safety of buildings and a train station. But after just a week of work, that hole has been completely filled. The comments are not wrong. That would take an absurdly long time most places. The toughest of tough jobs has long been wildland firefighting. What with the jumping out of planes with shovels and knowing when to dig in and let a fire pass over you. However, it's also dangerous, and as the fire season gets longer, because science, it's only forecasted to get worse. That's where Lockheed Martin comes in. The defense company is working on AI aircraft that spots fires and eventually will let them put them out by themselves. Let me explain. They just did a demo with everything from a quad rotor, a fixed wing craft, and a straight up AI helicopter. The smallest worked to spot the fire and then hail the cargo chopper over to fill a bucket with water and then drop it on the fire. Then a hand-launched surveillance drone did a loop and spotted a human near the fire, which triggered an unmanned helicopter to swoop in and land nearby. Lockheed imagines the full system will be in service within five years. You better watch who you're calling a bird brain. We've seen ravens use rocks to open up seeds and snails before, but now researchers at the University of Veterinary Medicine in Vienna and the University of Oxford discovered that gothing cockatoos are very thoughtful tool makers. Turns out they can modify and shape a variety of materials to create probing sticks to dislodge treats from a locked box, which is similar to how chimps use long sticks to probe termite mounds and fish for insects. But what's really amazing is that the cockatoos can accurately judge how long and narrow the tool needs to be to both pass through the access hole and then knock the treat off its perch. Very clever. And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. A UK judge granted a dying girl's wish to be cryogenically frozen until science can cure her cancer and bring her back to life. Samsung bought auto and audio giant Harman for $8 billion. A Canadian airliner nearly hit a drone during its landing approach. Barnes & Noble debuted a $50 Nook tablet this week, and the NES Classic Edition went on sale what feels like 15 seconds ago. I would still have my original version, but it was stolen by an ex. Be cooler than that. <laughs>